Hello everybody and welcome back to the Sports Hub exclusive channel as today I am currently here in Denver and behind me is the ball arena and in just a bit we're going to be going inside to watch another hockey game between the defending Stanley Cup champion Colorado Avalanche versus Minnesota Wild. Now it is the latter part of the season of the NHL and this is a gigantic clash in the latter part of the season between two teams that is fighting for the top spot in the central division. So yeah like I said in just a bit we're going to be going inside there to watch this game so as i said i am outside ball arena for this massive match tonight and you can see there's already fans are lining up to wait to get inside the arena i believe that's the club section so i'm not going to be going inside because i'm not actually sitting in the club seats i think this is actually the entrance that i'm going well actually i'll probably make my way walk around the arena because we still got about half an hour before the gate actually open the gate actually open about an hour before the puck drop all right so i made my way inside the arena i'm actually gonna go go in the team store because right now it's really crowded outside as the door just opened we're checking out a couple of things we have some kind of beanies here got some toys over here and also the jerseys here also have a couple of the nuggets gear here because the avalanche and the nuggets of course are playing the same building a couple of kick click boards Got some pennant there in the back. So we're heading up the escalator, and like I said, there is a lot of people. I expect this game to be sold out because of how important this game is. And I'm actually debating where or not should I go to my seat first or go get some food because if I go to my seat first and get the view, you know, I might be have to wait a long line at where I'm gonna get some food to eat as part of the food segment of the sports topics here. Oh, look at that, we got a beautiful view of downtown Denver as the sun is setting here on the Mile High City. All right, so now it's time for the food segment of this Sports Hub exclusive episode. And today I got myself a loaded baked potato with our bacon, cheese, and also a couple of onions. Also got a bacon hot dog, which, yeah, it does kind of look a little sad though. I mean, probably should put some relish on that thing too, but let's try the loaded potato first. Mmm. Mmm, this actually looks really, really good. I'm just gonna eat some of this potato. I haven't put the relish, so I'm gonna eat this. Mm, actually, this is pretty, pretty good, even though it kind of looks a, a little sand. Uh, this is actually pretty decent, as for some reason my camera just decided not to focus. Of course, I also got a water. Now, what's interesting is that they actually also removed the bottle cap here, and I think that's safety precaution because I've seen some arena and some stadium when they give me the water, they actually removed the bottle cap but there unless I'm just gonna finish my food and actually I'll probably just bring my food to my seats which is gonna be somewhere around here all right so now I'm at my seat and I'll tell you what this is a wonderful seat here right around center ice now I'm gonna also have a little bit of an issue just like a couple of episodes ago when I went to a Sharks game at SAP Center where the guardrail is kind of in the way of the action but I'm a little forward like this I think I can kind of avoid a bad bug this is a very good seat here, up here in the 300 bubble. So another unique thing I noticed is that it seems like the roof of this arena is actually pretty high. It's kind of interesting to see that is the case. That's, maybe it's not the case with some of these older arenas because this arena was built in the 90s, but it's also nice. Here's the scoreboard here. It's actually one of the bigger scoreboard I've seen in the NHL. All right, so now I'm back outside the concourse level, and as you can see in the background, that is downtown Denver. And I just want to give you guys a little bit more information about this match. Like I said before, we are in the latter part of the NHL season, and this is a big game for both of these teams. It's safe to say that you could argue this is the game of the season for both of these teams that is fighting for that top spot in the Central Division. Although, it's also kind of interesting to note that it's actually a free horse race for the top spot in the Central Division, with Minnesota Wild currently leading the Senate true division but Colorado is only one point behind and Dallas is actually tied with Colorado uh, for that second position but it's also worth to note that the Avalanche does have a game in hand over Dallas and Minnesota so if Colorado can win in this game they not only leapfrog Minnesota for that top spot in the central division but they also have a game in hand over them and the Dallas Stars but Either way, you know, it's a massive game for both of these teams. And I haven't even mentioned the fact that both of these teams are among the hottest teams in the NHL right now. You know, the Colorado Avalanche have won nine out of their last 10 games, while Minnesota, uh, they have the best record in hockey since February 17. And that during their last 20 game stretch, they've only lost one time in regulation and only lost four games during their last 20 games. So 
yeah, something's going to have to give tonight in terms of which hot streak is potentially going to come to an end. And I won't be surprised that this is going to be a very close game and maybe even go to overtime too because from what I've seen some, with some of the Minnesota Wild Resort, they always tend to like to go to overtime and even go to shootout. So I won't be surprised. This might be a game where I see them also go to an overtime and a shootout. But either way, it's a massive game for both of these teams and let's see what's going to happen tonight.
entertaining first period, but it's 2-1 Minnesota after one. Oh, and well. Alright, so that is the end of the first period, and at the end of the first period, it's Minnesota with a 2-1 lead over the Colorado Avalanche, and I gotta say, first of all, the atmosphere of this game, it has been just absolutely sensational. I mean, it feels like playoff atmosphere, just to show you how big this game is for both of these teams, but overall, you know, as expected, very even between both of these teams. There's been times where the Avalanche has their opportunity, you know, they score on a 4 on four, and then there's times where Minnesota, of course, had some opportunity, and them um, scoring those two goals, to, and also scoring a goal right near the end of the period to take the lead. But yeah, I mean, there's really not much to separate between both of these teams. I mean, there's a reason why both of these teams are in the top two in the Central Division. I'm gonna be interesting to see what the next 20 minutes will bring into this one. Especially in the middle part of the second period where they were just looking for the perfect pass to set up a shot and that it just wasn't there because the Wild did a good job in terms of defending it. But they did try to push to get themselves one back to Noah Bell and that, you know, we'll see whether or not if they can come back here in the third period because, you know, I think Minnesota, they're probably going to try to go defensive here in this third period, trying to hold on to this 3-1 lead and maybe get a fourth one if this stays at 3-1 uh, when the Avalanche eventually is going to pull their goalie in case if the Avs are still going to be down. But we're going to see how this last period is going to go in this massive battle between the top two teams in the Central Division. 
So just finished here at Ball Arena as I just exit out the arena a couple of seconds ago. And in the end, it's Minnesota Wild with a 4-2 win over the Colorado Avalanche. They maintain at the top spot of the Central Division. And yeah, I mean, what a game this was. Definitely live up to its hype in terms of being a top two battle in the Central Division. I mean, you know, the Avs, they really push in that third period to trying to get themselves the equalizer. I mean, they got one bag and it set up a very interesting last six minutes they even went on a power play and went on a six and four on four but unfortunately for them uh, they did give 
up the empty net and i think that was actually a short handed goal too because uh the apps were on the power play so two short-handed goal that was scored by minnesota tonight that's something you don't usually see that happen and especially it was scored by the same guy too but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash the subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time with another sports hub series exclusive video